I used to work or be an employee for the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. Gotcha. And the, the main things that I did for the school board was taking care of all the outside playground equipment, of course, and mm-hmm. anything else that pertained to outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's where the experience came from. And uh, one day I just uh, seen an opportunity to start uh, my own company. And I've never looked back since, but uh, it, it certainly doesn't mean that it was an easy road, mm-hmm. but um, certainly the the vision and, uh, that I was given certainly brought me to a whole new level yeah. of interest for, for city parks. And I say that because I was um, fortunate that I had a handicapped brother that was eight years younger than I was. And he was totally handicapped, um, spoon-fed diaper change since, and he passed away at age 19. But it really gave me a perspective of a beginning when I was taking him to the park. What could I do with him was a really big challenge. Mm -hmm. So only because I was physically able to pick him up and go down the slide with him um, was about the only thing I could do. So long story short, what I, this comes in much later in my um, business uh, ventures that this came to, to pass, meaning I was able to see and understand how handicapped children should be partaking in playground equipment. And you know? so it brought all these different types of ideas forward huh. in, in my design thinking. Very interesting. Yeah. Very uh human yet technical story yes i'm before we do the deep dive into dynamo and all the amazing stuff you guys make i'm just curious what's your background um before you started this company how yeah did you are you from engineering some sort of design or how yeah well i'll i'll uh, i'll be as honest as i can with you because um, I have, um, I did have a grade 12 education, but that's where I would have stopped. And it was life experiences that brought me into eventually into the school board and taking care of all the playgrounds, et cetera. But it, it didn't mean that I was able to go into business without any struggles or learning curves. So I'd have to say that, um, um, I, I'm going to bring in some faith into this as well, because it played a huge part of my um my um trajectory a uh, trajectory <laughs> trajectory yeah, your so path yeah my path yeah and, i understand uh, so you know i um at one point i just went for it yeah and here i am today and uh um, i've been blessed with uh, some creativity uh, there's no engineering background whatsoever so i have to be willing and able to pay for those services, which I have employees that can do that. Yeah. But the initial uh, concepts of the designs of the mechanics uh, came from me and some of the team, of course. Uh, 